introducing first, by the red corner, he says 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing up by time at 137.6 pounds, fighting out of Silmar, California, representing Boxing Works, Severino! Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the black corner. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighed up by time at 137 pounds. Fighting out of Downey, California, representing King Cobra, this is Isaac De La Paz. Well, 10 years separate these two, Del Paz being the younger. I've seen Seth Rollins fight throughout the years. I'm a big fan of his, but Isaac De La Paz, that youth behind him, yeah. and I've seen him with his fights. This guy brings a lot of energy. Yeah, both these guys are, are, are at that, uh, we call it that young journeyman phase in which they got to get over this hump of who for is going to go <laughs> and going to stay, man. And I love it. I love this fight. You got a 6-4-1 a six, a six versus a 4-1. Oh man, this is this is why we come out, guys, That's to watch these young boys beat the dog crap out of each other, man. <laughs> Isaac Delapaz says he is technical, passionate. He is disciplined, but much more than anything, he enjoys what he is doing. Mm. He feels his kicks are very strong. And he has a definitive low kick. Scheduled for three two-minute rounds. Here we go for round one. See, these guys are talking about low kicks, man. You got to show me them low kicks. I like low kicks, baby. Oh, and they do it right on cue. <laughs> <laughs> nice measure pace from both these guys. Good job. Already I can notice a change in the fact that both these guys got their hands where they're supposed, supposed to be. be. Yeah, high guard <laughs> right there. Yeah. Protecting themselves. Good fang. Let them know it's there. Going to have ourselves a good old-fashioned filling out process. Nice one, two. Nice slide out. Nice slide out. Okay, we got ourselves two dudes looking for big money shots. I like it. Good combination by Ramos. Get it going while his back's against the ropes. Good clinch. Staying bouncing smart. I like these guys both with tight guards. Della Paz using that range. Yeah, man, it's smart to play short and shield when you're in the first round. Trying to pick something off a of guy, so you have something to go to second round. Nice knee into the inside of the clinch. Nice one, two off the inside late kick. Nice cross. Nice cross. Look at how he's framing that cross off the off the lead side. It's, it's nice. And Staying round consistent. One comes to the end. Della Paz working really effectively with that tight guard, long range. I don't think Sephiroth has found his range yet, but I think round two he'll be able to make those adjustments and get inside. But I see that first round going to Isaac. Yeah, I give that first round to Isaac just because he um, he stayed consistent. He controlled more of the ring, and his straight shots were landing. His combinations, if he landed, if he threw four, he landed three. So you gotta think, he's probably like in around somewhere like 75, 78 percentile of strikes landed, man, in the first round. So he's gotta be confident, and he's been staying safe. Ramos has been more, a little bit more rushing in with barrages and getting caught there. So he's gonna have to slow it down if he's gonna have to, uh, if he's gonna get on his taller fighter. Slow it down, play the parry, play the check game, play the counter game. Schedule for three. We are going to round number two in this 135-pound lightweight kickboxing match between Seth Reynolds and 
So Isaac De La Paz, what we got going on here? Let's see, misplaced mouthpiece, I think. All right. This man fight a whole round with no mouthpiece? This man is a savage. This man was born by himself and raised <laughs> by wolves. <laughs> All right. The corners have cleared out. Here we go for round number two. Again, fighters both engaging with that high guard. Nice. Sap coming in strong. Nice. That's Sap what Sap has to do. He has to play the range. He has to get him throwing and catch him when he's bringing it back. See? Beautiful, beautiful exchange display of tie. kicks and counters. It's these exchanges Ramos is going to have to circle out off those ropes. Um, De La Paz is too long to play the ropes like that. You got to gangle off of him. Nice check. Nice counter, nice slip and rip. Nice. Nice counter, staying his ground. There he goes. Don't go backwards. Keep, give yourself space to move backwards and around. Nice. And what, you, what we call this at our gym is like incremental steps. You see how he's inching his way towards with, with proper footwork. That's how he, look at this. You see his feet, they're still moving. Can't allow yourself to get stuck on these ropes though. De La Paz is doing really well at when he's when uh Sap, when Ramos is uh, stuck against the ropes, he's landing long shots, see? Cross left kick, basing at the framing with his lead hand. He's trying to set up that lead knee to deliver. Good, good adjustment good. from both sides wow. on the second Dude. round. I was really having fun watching that fight, man, because both these guys were, uh, their defense is higher level. Uh, the checks, the parries, the blocks, the slips, the, the, the up and downs underneath punches. These guys are playing for keeps, man. This I like Seth when I like him staying inside that pocket and getting yeah. that counter right away and then moving out when it's time. Yeah. Isaac De La Paz gave Isaac a little bit of problem, but then at the end he was able to rally back. Isaac was able to find that range once again. Yes. Tough, tough, tough round to score. Who do you see that one going to? I'm going to leave that one to the fans, man. <laughs> Both these guys have me at the edge of my seat, baby. Well, this is coming up the third and final round between the two athletes here. Seferino Ramos out of the red corner. Isaac De La Paz out of the black corner. Let's see who can make that statement. They may have to do so in order to steal this third and final round. Yeah, don't mess with Kobe on. That man will sidekick you in the mouth like Shawn Michaels. That <laughs> is a <laughs> world-class, old-school black belt right there, baby. And here we go for the third and final round. Nice, Seth trying to stay at that range and counter. And... Uh, De La Paz is being smart by staying active even when the guy slips. He's still, still throwing shots to score. Can't let that part of the game pass you up even if you miss. Nice inside knee off the punch combinations landed by Ramos. These guys are going for it. Nice check. Yeah, my only critique with Ramos is uh, he's just a little bit too far out to counter when he's slipping and paring out of the way because of the height uh, advantage that uh, David Paz has. See? Good inside. Man. Good control of the strong arm and the clinch. Nice inside team. A minute left. Let's see. Nice. 
Nice control of the neck. People forget that part, that, that, that frame against the neck. When you're clinched up 50-50, you can really mess a guy's balance up, see? Take the fight out of him there. Gonna have his hips fighting against his own head to get a clinch. Nice Just kick there by Ramos. Nice stiff cross on the landing by De La Paz. These guys know they have to steal that round. They have to steal it. And you see what I mean here about this forearm guard? It's just forcing the, the air and the power out of the upper body of Ramos. Nice, nice knee. Nice. That's a good fight, man. It is a good fight. I'm gonna have, to, me personally, man, I'm gonna have to get that one to De La Paz and just play the point system better. I think so. I mean, he came out a little bit cleaner, found its mark, able to rock the head a few times, suffering Ramos was in the fight at all times. And look at this guard he has, keeping his hands up. Look at that. That's why I tell guys, keep your hands where they belong. They ain't gotta do much. You just gotta be there. <laughs> nice. Beautiful lean encounter. By Seth Ramos. Nice. And I almost feel like Ramos is just almost either too close or too far away to land that big counter he was looking for. Well, it is in the judges' hands right now. Still coming up, we have our super lightweight title fight between David Fisher and Woo! Jason the Gator Granado. That's still coming up right after this, the first of three title fights here on fighters rep but let's see who comes out victorious here between Seferino Ramos out of the red corner and Isaac De La Paz out of the black corner Send it to Josh Shibata for the official decision. All right, once again, fight fans, make some noise for both of these warriors. What a great fight. After three rounds of battle, we go to the score, judges' scorecards for their decision. All three judges scored about 30 27 for your winner by unanimous decision. From the black corner, Isaac De La Paz. Isaac De La Paz takes all three rounds and all yeah. three judges scorecard here against Severino Ramos as he improves to five and one. Isaac, Isaac Zep drops to six and five. Very Isaac, close fight. I don't. Yeah. Uh, I would. I don't, I don't know, know if I, I would give it a bit closer. I yeah, saw I saw, a, I saw a split. I saw I saw a split going uh, to De La Paz, but I didn't see that being uh, all three. But you know, you gotta you gotta know, guys. You gotta control the fight not only from the beginning, but you gotta make sure the once that these refs usually watch the last minute of that last or the last minute of the round is what the, we need to really put that right. exclamation point All right, I'm with your winner, Isaac De La Paz. Isaac, what a great performance. Three rounds, very competitive. How do you feel? Feel pretty good. Coming back from an injury, shoulder dislocation, so, hey, the shoulders held through, so there that's all I'm, I'm grateful for, you know? There you go. Thank God for that. Exactly. How tough is it to come back from such a, a big injury like a shoulder separation to then have to train and fight here in the fight in the blind's den? It's scary because every time you throw a punch, you never know when it's gonna pop out, and it's a uh, it's a very scary feeling. You're just very scared to throw anything, but you know, like I said, thank you God. Uh, he's the only one I have to thank, and my coach, of course. Of course, of course. But you know, thank God for everything. Thank Came out good. I'm here. I'm healthy. So is my opponent, that's how we care about. There you go, there you go. So, any future plans for you here in the Lions Den for Isaac Delapal? Yeah, I'm down. Whoever, uh, whenever I have another chance to compete again, I'm down for it. You know, this is my first time competing for Fighter Rep. It's an awesome organization, I really like it. Thank you, the promoter. Uh, you know, I've been trying to do this promotion for a while now, so. I'm grateful to be here, and whenever you know they hit me up for another fight, I'm down. And I'm pretty sure that will be sooner than later. Isaac De La Paz, great performance, great debut for us at Fighters Up. Congratulations!
Once again, your winner, Isaac Delapaz.